This video is about knowing God. So does everyone get a chance to know God? And the answer is yes. God does not want anyone to perish, so he gives everyone an opportunity to be saved. God allows each one of us to choose our own destiny, either heaven or hell. It is our choice. Um, one might wonder why anyone would uh, uh, choose to reject God and go to hell. So let's let God's word answer that question. Let's look at Romans uh, chapter 1, verses 21 through 32. And listen to what God has to say about it. Uh, and beginning in verse 19, <clears throat> it says, Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has showed it to them. And uh, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. So professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And they changed the glory of the uh, uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. And uh, wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. And for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also men, leaving the natural use of woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, and disobedience to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So this verse, uh, uh, these verses uh, make uh, clear statements as to why people reject the salvation offered by Jesus Christ. To be sure, everyone has had a chance or will have a chance to decide their own fate. Uh, God's word tells us that every one of us can do what is right and that we will all have a chance to be saved. Titus chapter 2 verse 11 tells us, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. And so now look at the Romans 1.20. It states, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So we can see that the invisible things of him from the creation of the world uh, how can we see the invisible things? The invisible things can be understood by the things that are made. Uh, look at uh, Psalms uh, chapter 19, verses 1 through 3. It says, To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. So, so we can see that those who reject Christ are without excuse and they're on their way to the lake of fire. God has provided enough things in creation so that anyone that wants to come or that wants to can come to the knowledge of the truth if they so desire. All of us come to a knowledge of God's presence sometime during our life. 
then we can choose to follow God's path or our own path. It is really sad that most people turn away from God and refuse to accept what he has done for our salvation. As we have uh, seen previously in this uh, video, many people do not want to retain God in their knowledge. Uh, that's in Romans 1.28. So look around you, and you see that most people are arrogant, self-righteous, materialistic, and don't want to be saved. They don't like God and don't even want to talk about him. And most reject Christ and have to have no use for the word of God. They enjoy the material things of this world and don't want to give them up. They worship sex, sports, they love to sin, and they love to practice covetousness and many other similar things. God says in Romans uh, chapter 1 verse 20 that they know the judgment of God. And they still commit things that are worthy of death and have pleasure in them that do them, according to Romans 1, chapter 1, verse 32. By nature, mankind has a lot of pride, self-righteousness, and arrogance. If they decide to live in sin and do their own thing, they, they have to change, discredit, or misquote God's word. The change, uh, they change the truth of God into a lie, according to Romans 1, 25. And then they professed themselves to be wise and became fools, according to Romans chapter 1, verse 22, and changed the truth of God into a lie, according to Romans chapter 1, verse 25 again. So if you're listening to this video, I pray that you're not a fool and are traveling down the wrong path in life after you know God. Actually, if you go to hell, you cannot blame God since it is your choice and not his. God sent his son to die on the cross to pay for your sins. And you can't be saved by works, but only by grace through faith, as we're told in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. And it states, For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself. It is a gift of God. So salvation is a gift. And, and, and it's not of works, it says, lest any man should boast. So we can't work to get into heaven like some people claim. It is a gift that comes from God. Uh, and then verse 10 says, uh, For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. So the good works comes after you are saved, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So please remember that God said in uh, uh, Proverbs 28 verse 13, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confesses and forsaketh him shall have mercy. Just remember that all the lost and, and hell uh, will be cast into a lake of fire and there will be and will be there for eternity. Look, Rome, I mean Revelation chapter twenty, verses fourteen through fifteen. Uh, it, it states, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. The first death is when you die physically. This is the second death. And it's a, a, an eternal death. And it's not a, a going out of a, a consciousness either. It's in torment in the lake of fire. And verse 15 says, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. If you go to the lake of fire, it will be no one's fault but your own. So please read God's word and accept what God did on the cross, dying to pay for your sins. And please do that before it's too late. We don't have the promise of tomorrow. And I thank you for listening.